Hi, my name is Andy Roberts, Managing Director of EasyBook Business Solutions Limited. Today I'm giving a quick overview of the free 30 day trial, which is the product you can download from our website to try out EasyBook and see what you think of it. Um, this follows on from our previous video, which was how to download and install the free 30 day trial. So if you've not got EasyBook on your computer already, best go to the website and take a look at that video and basically download and install the free trial so that you're ready to take a look at it. So what I'm going to do today is take a look at our EasyBook that's been previously installed. So the first time you run the program, you'll get a little message pops up saying welcome to EasyBook and it will tell you what date it was installed on and how long you've got left to run um, on, the, on the evaluation. So if we just continue past that. So the first main page of the EasyBook Control Centre um, is like the hub really. And that gives you access to the booking manager, which is where you look after all your booking information. Uh, the guest database, which is where customer details are recorded. And you can also use it as like a separate inquiries database or guest database. The, the next part is the marketing manager, which is for finding um, guest records by doing searches for things like when the guests have stayed before, how long they've stayed for. And you can use that to build up a list of contacts. So you can use it for things like mail shots uh, and sending emails to customers, um, repeat guests. And then we've got the reports area. Uh, which is obviously, as it states, things like arrivals reports, departures, financial reports, housekeeping reports. And you've got the system settings area, which is where you would manage all of your settings, your drop down lists, things like room types and rooms, um, tariffs, guest types, things like that. And then finally, you've got the user guide link, which is um, an overview, really. Um, the user guides quite useful. Uh, it goes through each of the areas of EasyBook. Okay, so what I'm going to do first of all, um, as we can see here, um, the free trial, we're currently on day one of 30. When you buy a license for EasyBook, it will come up as registered to you. So your details will appear there. Um, I'd like to take you through just briefly the system settings area. Um, this is where you would look after your things like room types, rooms, um, but the first page is license details. So for the free trial, that's obviously going to come up with our details. Um, when you buy a license, obviously we send you a license file that has your details in this part of it. Um, so again, we can see here at the moment, free 30 day trial version, and it's installed today and it expires in 30 days time. So the next tab along, drop down lists. So on the free trial, we've set up a few demo uh, room types and rooms. So the basic information just to start with. So room types, obviously for us at the moment, we've got dual rooms and twin rooms. Um, we've actually put in an overflow room there as well for swapping bookings if all the rooms are full. The next tab along here, rooms. So this is details for what rooms you've got in the system. So simple information, room name, what type of room it is, and the description. And also you can record maximum occupancy, which will sort of give you a notice if you were trying to book more people into the room that is set there. Um, there's also a housekeeping part of the system, which um, allows you to sort of Keep track of what rooms are, whether rooms are occupied or vacant, and whether they're clean or dirty. And you can also record notes against rooms, such as like a broken lamp or room needs painting. Um, another part of this drop down list area that's quite important to get going would be that you would normally set up your tariffs in this area. Um, so whether you do bread and breakfast or room only, you can set up as many different tariffs as you want in the system. Um, and basically what you would do is put in a tariff name, how the costs are calculated, where it's per night, per person per night, per stay, or per person per stay. The most popular would probably be per person per, per night or per person per night. 
uh, for things like hotels and B&Bs. Um, you then put in a cost for the nightly rate and whether any tax is appropriate on that. Um, there's also, let's see, there's also a couple of extra bits and with the tariff, whether certain things were included in the tariff or not, such as breakfast or evening meal. You don't have to fill all this in. You mainly would just put in the tariff name, the calculation method and the price. So again, we've set up a couple of sample tariffs in there just to get you going. Um, there's also in this area extras items which are additional charges you can add on to bookings. Um, so for things like um, bar drinks or you might have room service, that kind of thing. And An extras item really would just be again just a description and what the standard cost is for that item. Um, if it's something like bar drinks and snacks you might want to leave that at zero and then when you add the item to the booking put the amount in there. Or if it's like a set set amount such as things like an extra bed in a room you'd have a preset amount um, and if you wanted you could change it later but that's kind of what that's for and um, so just to get going also firstly when you download the free trial what you would also want to do is set your word processor now in this list you most people these days would choose ms word 2000 because that basically means anything later than Word 2000 um, and words used in EasyBook for creating letters, bills and reports and also what we've got here is a screen resolution setting so at the moment 800 by 600 is the default but I think we may well just be able to go for 1024 by 768 that'll give us slightly more size on some of the screens like the availability grid um, down here is where EasyBooks installed if you need to get into where the data folder is um, we'll leave that for another little demo. Um, so that's a very quick overview of EasyBook and um, the sort of different modules within there. The last bit I'll just show you quickly the use guide. During the free trial um, you can take a look through here if there's things you're not sure about. The use guide will show you an overview of what EasyBook is, uh, some features there, etc. And it will also tell you about the free trial that we've looked at, and how to get in touch with us, and how to order licenses. And then it'll take you through the sort of individual parts of the system as well, like the booking manager, availability grid, etc. So that's the end of the free 30 day trial quick overview video. Um, hopefully it's given you an idea of the different parts of the system and how to get going, especially with the system settings part of the system. We will be bringing out some more videos shortly that go into more detail with regards to like the booking manager and the guest database. So if you have any questions after watching this video, please get in touch through the EasyBook website. That's www.easybookonline.com. And thanks for watching this short video. Goodbye.